is KAG's HD Sports. Nine and counting. The Aggie stretch of wins away from Kyle Field is now at nine, one shy of tying a school record following Saturday's win against Arkansas. But the way the maroon and white did it looked different than it usually does. Texas A&M is known as an up-tempo, spread-the-field pass first team. But Saturday, Coach Sumlin's squad outrushed the run-heavy Razorbacks, but remained balanced. 262 yards on the ground and 261 yards through the air for A&M, giving the Ags a school record eight straight games, eclipsing the 40-point mark. Being able to adjust to half time, um, they really play a style that maybe is different for us, that, that people think is different for us. Um, we'll do a lot for our confidence going down the road. I think it just shows another dimension of our offense. You know, people look at our offense, you know, being so spread out, being an air raid offense, but, you know, I think we had like two or three consecutive drives where I don't think we threw the ball maybe just one or two times, you know. And I think it just shows uh, how good our offensive line is and, and how talented our running backs are. Aggies with a bye this week. Some NFL yesterday in Houston, Seahawks and Texans. Arian Foster had 33 touches, 171 all-purpose yards, and that TD, which gave the Texans a 14-3 lead. But with Houston ahead by seven late in the fourth, Matt Schaub made what some Houston fans would deem a jersey-burning decision. Floats it on third and four, and Richard Sherman snatches it, runs 58 yards, 50 without a shoe to the end zone, ties it at 20, and in overtime, Stephen Hoshkin nails the 45-yard field goal, and Bulls are now on a losing streak. As the Seahawks steal one, the Texans' next game is Sunday night on KAGS in San Francisco against the defending NFC champion 49ers. Same story in San Diego where the Cowboys visited the Chargers. Phillip Rivers threw the ball 42 times, had one interception. There it is, arm gets hit, and Sean Lee picks it off. The pride of Penn State with a convoy. Goes 52 yards for the score, Dallas leading 21-10. What I failed to mention, Rivers also threw three touchdowns. This one, one of two to the five foot eight Danny Woodhead. The 13 yarder made it a one point game at 21 to 20 after a field goal gave San Diego a two point lead. Rivers throws his final touchdown pass and it's a pretty one right over Lee's head and into the hands of Antonio Gates. San Diego had 506 total yards and the Chargers beat the Cowboys 31 to 20. Tonight, I'll have Ryan Tannehill facing the Saints, the Aggie quarterback, a battle of undefeateds in New Orleans. But Matthew, as, as we had talked before, there are reports from our West that Texas Athletic Director DeLos Dodds will announce his retirement on Tuesday tomorrow, effective in August, which as far as what that means, could mean Mac Brown is out of a job or into the athletic director job, who knows? And it could also mean that the Aggie Longhorn rivalry possibly coming hmm. back, never know. So a lot of speculation right now, but no, a lot of possibilities but. out there too. Exactly. With, with him out, it would open up a world of possibilities. But there are plenty of Aggies, as I would think, that probably don't want to play Texas anymore. Yeah. So it just it opens all that conversation back up. Saw Varsity's horns off. All right, Chris, thank you. We'll be right back with Jared.